Okay, um, this tutorial, uh, I've gotten a lot of emails with people being uh, having problems with various aspects of navigating around uh, the modeler interface. <clears throat> so I want to uh, go ahead and address those. Um, let me move this to flat shaded. Okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and create a box because some people were telling me that they uh, could not get uh, the uh, geometry to show up when you use the arrow keys. I'm pressing the arrow keys now to add segments to this box and as you can see it's not adding them but actually it is you just cannot see them because we're in flat shaded mode. If you come up here to this corner you'll be able to change the viewing mode to various uh, different things. Wireframe, you'll be able to see things in wireframe mode, um, color wire wireframe, Hidden line will take away the uh, wireframes in the background, and um, sketches. I guess if you're some sort of uh, doing some sort of CAD, I guess this is something that looks more like a drafting program. Wireframe shade is the one that you should probably want to work in um, if you're, you know, just starting out with uh, modeling. And um, as you can see, I am adding the segments. You just couldn't see them before <clears throat> because you were, we were in flat shaded mode. Then there's weight shaded mode. Which um, let me let me do this, and what will happen is when you're in weight shaded mode, and you create a new weight map. Okay, you'll see the um, the items that are 100% weighted are in red, or, or dark orange, and then everything else is in gray. That's that's not affected by the weight map. And if you're in textured mode, let me go ahead and add a image map here. Anything is fine. Okay, so if you're in textured mode, you'll be able to see any of the uh, image images textured onto there. If you're in wireframe shade, you won't be able to see that. If you're in textured wire, you'll be able to see the images and the wireframe underneath there. <clears throat> but as you can see, sometimes it's difficult to make that out. So um, texture uh, and textured wire is good when you're placing your textures on the object. But for the most part, they're distracting and you'll want to stay in wireframe shaded mode. So if you're adding segments to these uh, items, these objects, and you can't see what's going on, it's probably because you're in one of the other shading uh, uh, viewing modes. And then next to that, you can see the various perspectives that you can watch from left, right. Perspective is the one we were in. And UV texture is um, after you've added uh, image maps, UV texturing is, is a, a way of uh, adding images, <clears throat> tacking images onto your, your object in a very direct way and uh, it's too big of an uh, item to cover in this tutorial. Alright, so those are the two things. You have your viewing modes here, um, your, your perspectives here, and you have your viewing modes. And then over here are little widgets that will help you move around the scene, your translate tool, your orbit tool, and your zoom tool. You can uh, duplicate this with keyboard shortcuts, Alt and drag to orbit, Alt and shift to translate, and Control and Alt to zoom in and out. Okay, and then this uh, widget uh, here will go from uh, a one screen view to a four screen view. So as you can see, I usually work in in four uh, in one big screen, but some people like to work in four because sometimes you can. As you can see, you can go ahead and line things up very easily in the uh, four-way view. But I like to uh, use all my screen real estate, so that's my preference there. So those are the viewing modes and these widgets here. And um, up here <clears throat> is uh, if we were to have more than one object loaded. General Grievous done here? Here's General Grievous that I was modeling before. Actually, this is an older version of him. The new version looks much better. But as you can see, if you have different objects, they'll show up in this drop-down list. So we can go to our box, so we can go to General Grievous. If we wanted to go and uh, copy a piece of one, from one model to another, we could easily go back and forth between these two. It's a good way to uh, <clears throat> have different uh, objects in there and, and use different parts of them. Oops. Delete that. Okay, up here are the layers, <clears throat> and uh, I might have mentioned those before, but up here are the layers, and uh, as you can see, we have uh, one item here. We'll select layer two, and I'll paste that Grievous uh, face in there again. And then if we 
click in the middle of the layer will be able to select that layer on its own. If you click on the bottom part of the layer, you'll put that layer in the background. And you can see it as a black wireframe. If you shift select in the middle, you'll have both layers selected at the same time. So this is very similar to Photoshop or other image editing things. So hopefully that will help you to move around the interface. Um, down here are the selection items. As you can see when we drag over, we're in polygons right now. When we drag over, you're selecting polygons. If you hit the space bar, you'll, you'll toggle between point, edge, and polygon. And as you can see, it remembers what you had last time. So if we go to points and select some points over here, and we go to polygons, as you can see, it remembers the selection you had. And edges, you can select edges as well. So it will remember those. When you want to deselect some points or some edges, you can go over to a, a, a empty part of the interface, like over here, and just click, and th th that selection is gone. All right, symmetry I mentioned in uh, a another topic. Uh, symmetry is for making changes to both sides of them all at the same time. And then your modes. <clears throat> this is um, when you're using the various tools. This will determine where that tool um, generates its. Uh, the origin of that tool. So let's go here and we'll go to our front view. And I'm going to hit shift tilde to do the bend tool. And uh, when I drag the bend tool, the it's set to the mouse. So wherever the mouse is is clicked on, that's where it starts bending from. All right. I'll undo that. I'll set the mode to origin. And so now when I when I if I click the mouse up here for example, it doesn't matter it's always bending from the origin and uh, from the for the most part I, I just leave it on mouse because then you know exactly where you want the, uh, the transformations to take place okay sub D type um, you can determine the type of subdivision surface um, it's too much of a, a thing to go into in this tutorial you can change your subdivision surface type there and then here these um, these are the uh, if you don't remember the um, shortcuts for these two important panels, the numeric panel and the statistics panel, it's right there. But really the shortcuts N and W are pretty easy to remember, so there's no real need to do that. And then surface, you can uh, add the <coughs> uh, different surfaces using the surface panel, which the default is Q. And over here, W, T, M, C, S, these are the various maps that you can add to your object. As you can see, there's an entire map tab, and they stand for weight map, texture map, uh, morph map, color map and um, I think this is selection set okay but uh, usually um, weight maps uh, morph maps those are the big ones you're gonna end up using a lot of alright so that is the